Hats, are we gonna draw another cute girl today? Mm -hmm. Who are we gonna draw this time? A cartoon cheerleader. Woohoo! All right, sweetie pie, you got your marker. Yes. <laughs> we hope you guys are gonna follow along with us. You have something to draw with and some paper in front of it. You don't have to use a marker if you don't want to. You could use a pencil or a crayon or something else to draw with. Uh, and we're using regular, regular printer paper. Nothing special about our printer paper. It's just regular printer paper. All right, Hads, you ready to start drawing? Mm -hmm. Okay, first step. We're gonna draw her eyes right in the middle of the paper, okay? And we're just gonna draw two little dots right next to each other. You remember drawing the, um, what was the other girl that we drew? The, the uh, ballerina? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna use a lot of the same steps. So we draw right right here in the middle of the paper, the two, two eyes right there. We'll leave a link where you can go watch uh, the ballerina lesson because that was a cute one too, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good job, Hads. Are you drawing eyelashes? Can yeah. I draw eyelashes too? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we could draw our eyebrows too. We could draw two little lines that go over our eyes. Good job. <laughs> and we're going to draw her little nose in between, so a little U shape. And it kind of looks like a smile, huh? A teeny, teeny smile. <laughs> teeny smile. And then we're going to draw our, her mouth underneath that. So we'll draw a bigger U shape underneath her mouth. Good. Good job. And this time, let's draw her mouth open. So we can draw another line, another U shape right underneath that one. And then we can draw an upside down or a rainbow line, upside down U shape or a rainbow line. I can't really do inside. it. Oh, that's okay if you run out of room. I could just color it in like that. Yes, that works too. <laughs> All right, okay, now let's draw her ears. So we're going to go directly right across from her eyes and draw a C shape like that. Only one? Yeah, so go a little, go a little further out. So here, one sec. Let's, so right from her eye, go space it out just a little further, so like out here. There we go, C shape for ear. Good, and then we'll come over on this side, out from this eye, and we'll draw a backwards C shape, the same size as the other one. Good, okay, now let's connect her ears with her chin. So we're gonna go from this ear all the way over, and I'm gonna stop there and then start here and come back to this side and draw the other side of her chin. So can you connect her two ears with a big U shape? Yes, good job. <laughs> Cute. All right, okay, now we're gonna draw the top of her head. She's gonna look bald, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're gonna, but we'll put her hair on in there in just a second. So we're gonna go over the top with a big U shape all the way over and then connect. <laughs> she looks bald. <laughs> can you do that? Yeah. Connect the, her ear to the other side. Good. Awesome heads. So we're going to start over here and we're going to draw a curved line that connects down to her ear. So we're drawing her with a different hairstyle than our ballerina. Good. And then we can draw another line on this side that connects this side to her ear. Good job. And then we can put a couple more lines in there for her hair. So she looks like she has pretty hair. <laughs> Good. Good job. That's awesome. <laughs> you having fun? Yes. <laughs> Good. Okay, now let's draw her piggy tails. Should we draw her with ponytails? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna draw her little, um, her little thing that she has in her hair. And let's just draw a zigzag line like that. And then we can do the same thing on the other side. We'll draw another zigzag line over here. Yes, good job. <laughs> good, okay, and then let's draw her, her hair and it's gonna be up in the air because she's jumping. We're gonna draw an S line. It comes out and then down and we'll stop there and then we'll do the rest, okay? Good, it's a big kind of rainbow line. And then right at the end, we'll go, we'll go back up. Good. And then let's connect 
on the other side like this back into her hair into her head good okay let's do the same on the other side do a big kind of upside down you good and then we'll curl right at the end good and then we'll come back down into her hair or into her head Good job. And then we can do some more lines on this on this side. So we can so it looks like hair. So we'll draw a little curve like that. And then we can draw another curve down here on this side. We can draw a couple more in there, huh? And do as many as I want. Okay, you can do as many as you want. That sounds like a good plan. them wavy too. You can make them wavy. I like it. And straight. There you go. I'm going to do as many as I want too. Okay. Good job. Okay, now let's draw our body. So we're going to draw a little U that comes out right here for a neck. Teeny, 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 teeny little neck. Teeny. Uh, good job. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to draw a diagonal line, two little diagonal lines that come out from each side of the U. Good, and then let's draw our body. So we're gonna draw two lines that come down from that, from the V. Not the V, the those little shoulder lines. Good job, and then let's connect them down at the bottom. Good, okay, now let's draw her jersey and her, her cheer outfit. So we'll draw a little V that connects her two shoulders. Good, and then we can draw uh, another diagonal line that comes out of there, and then another diagonal line on the other side. And that's her chair, her cheer shirt. <laughs> okay, now let's draw her arms coming out of her shoulders, and then we can draw her pom poms. Okay. Okay. So we draw a line that comes out. This is for the first part of her arm. So, and then I just drew it so that it comes right to the edge of her head. Yeah, right there. Good, and then another one right below it for the other part of her arm. Good, and then let's do the same thing on the other side. So it looks the same. So two lines that come out of that side of her body. Good. Good job. And this one you may want to draw a little bit longer so that we can get the pom-pom in there. There you go. Oh, that's good. Perfect. Okay, now this part's a little tricky, but it's going to be a lot like her hair, her hair bows. We're going to draw a zigzag line that goes all the way around. And this is for her pom-poms. And it can it can be messy, a little kind of crazy, like that. Does that look like a pom-pom? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you go ahead and try it. And try to make it into a circle. <laughs> oh, er, you can do it. Good job. <laughs> that looks awesome. And then you can connect them right there. Good. Okay, should we try the other side? Mm -hmm. Okay, we want them to look the same, so we try and make them look the same, same size. Go all the way around like that. Try and make them a circle. This one looks a little flat. That's okay. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna do another zigzag like this and make it more round. <laughs> I can't really do this. <laughs> no, you're doing awesome. No, it looks awesome. <laughs> I'm going to put some more zigzag lines inside like this on this other side. And make it around. There you go. Yes, that looks awesome. Good job. Awesome, Heads. Okay, now let's draw her legs and her skirt, okay? Okay. So we're going to draw a, a line diagonal this way. Good. And then a line diagonal this way, and you want them to match. Good. Okay, now let's draw our dress. So we're going to draw a, a, here we go, like this. And that's her skirt. A little, good. And then we can draw a line straight down. <laughs> and then let's draw another line in between on both sides. There we go. Good job. Okay, now let's draw her, let's draw another line for her leg on this side. And then another line for a leg on this side. Okay, good job, Ed. That looks awesome. Okay, now let's draw our shoes. So we're going to start right here on this bottom line. And then we're going to draw a big 
oval shape that comes around like that. So start on this bottom line and then draw a big, not too big, but draw a big oval shape for a shoe. So start right here on this line, come out like this and then back around. Yes, good job. <laughs> good, that looks awesome. Okay, now let's do the same on this side, okay? So we'll come out, around, and then back in for a shoe. And you want it to look the same size as that one. So we'll start on that line and come out and then around. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Okay, let's try the bottom of our shoe. So we'll put another oval in there on that side. Good. And then we can draw an oval on this side for the bottom of this shoe. And we can put a couple lines. One, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three on that side. <laughs> and we're done. You did it. Did you have fun? Yes. <laughs> She looks really cute, but we need to color her. All right, hats, we got our colors picked out. We're not going to use too many colors. Um, we're going to use uh, this for her skin tone, but really our friends can use any color they want for the skin tone, right? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to use, uh, I'm going to use this for her hair color, red, but our friends can use any color, right? Yes. For her hair color too. Mm -hmm. You're going to use uh, brown. And then I'm going to use a uh, light blue for her cheerleading outfit. But what can our friends do? Use any color. Yeah, you guys can use any color for a cheerleading outfit. And we're going to fast forward this part too, right? Mm -hmm. You ready to do it? Yes. Let's do it right now. Right yeah. <laughs> We went back over her face because it was kind of washed out with the oil pastels, huh? Mm -hmm. We used our Sharpie to make the lines black again. Mm -hmm. Give me five. You did super awesome. She looks really cute. She kind of looks like you. <laughs> did you have fun? Yeah. Promise? Uh -huh. Super promise? And we hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing your cheerleaders with us. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.